So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you. Come, Holy Spirit, we pray. Come with your strength and your power. Come in your own special way. Come like a spring in the middle. Come into my weary soul. Come with your sweet healing power. Touch us and make us whole. We now open ourselves, our minds and hearts to welcome the goodness of the Lord. Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord be with you and good evening. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. After a few days of absence, I come back, and it's nice that we have this gospel, Pericope, from St. Matthew, which is still the continuation of the Beatitudes that we were reflecting since last week, that was coming from chapter 5, moving towards chapter 7. And this is all about the prayer that Jesus is teaching us. And it's nice, as I said, because on Sunday, we'll be celebrating Father's Day. And so we greet our Father in heaven. Happy Father's Day in advance. But you see, this is a prayer that has been commented from centuries to centuries. A prayer that is so appealing. A prayer that has really given so much meaning, so much life to the life of every Christian to those who have faith in God, because simply this is a prayer to the Father, and this is the prayer Jesus taught us. Practically, even in school, this prayer alone can take one semester, so much so that each word is given meaning. Its word is being interpreted in the so-called exegesis towards hermeneutics. But the beauty of this is, and other than this is the prayer that Jesus is teaching us. In the early church, or even the lives of the saints, when even they just start to, to use the word our father, they would levitate. Or it means yung, talagang they're all day flying. Their mind is so concentrated. Their life is so concentrated that they know that they are communicating to the father. And so they are given that grace, they are given that gift, so much so that it becomes really a moment of contemplation for them. But this prayer is an other than we say it's a complete prayer addressed to the Father. After all, Jesus said, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it. And so the Father is being addressed here and Jesus is teaching us how to pray. Other commentators would say, we do not need any other prayers perhaps, but really make these prayers our own because this is what Jesus had taught us. This is a prayer of Jesus and the Father. But of course, along the centuries, so many prayers are being developed, crafted for our use so that it would make us nearer to the saints and to the Lord himself. Now, the first part of this prayer would lead us really when we pray to realize the kingdom of God. And of course, when we speak of the kingdom of God, it's a big thing. It's a big topic. But above all, it's the kingdom of God that is manifested with peace, love, generosity, righteousness, and kindness. And secondly, in order for us to do the will of the Father. 
You see, when we do our prayer, it's to that purposes, to make the kingdom come and visible and to do the will of God. But the second part becomes an explanation as well. For the kingdom of God to come, for, that, for us to do the will of God, what do we need? Of course, first, we need the daily bread of God. Give us a day the daily bread. The daily bread is not only, of course, about the pandisal, but it's the spiritual need that we have, the food that Jesus had given us, so much so that when we are spiritually fed, then we are not hungry, we are not thirsty, but rather we move always. But the prayer give us also our daily bread would mean our daily necessities, so as to survive, so as to make our life meaningful and to be healthy. And in living, having the daily bread, it means to lead us into forgiveness. Forgiveness of our trespasses as we confess to the Lord our sins. So as when we ask for that forgiveness, truly God is forgiving us in Jesus. But there is also a condition in asking for that forgiveness to forgive others who trespass against us or others who transgress against us. People have sinned against us. So the prayer becomes meaningful. The prayer becomes effective if forgiveness is there. Remember last time it says, if you offer something to the altar and you realize that someone is against you, leave your gift to the altar, go back and reconcile to that person and after which bring your gift. So much so that forgiveness of others is a very crucial criterion in terms of the coming of the kingdom of God and the doing of the will of God. Thirdly, it says, lead us not into temptation. So to avoid every temptation that would separate us from God, none other than towards sinning, to avoid every occasion and moment so that our life, our self, would be always pleasing to the Lord. So that when we do things, avoiding evil and temptation, then we realize, and not sinning, we realize that we are doing the will of God and making his kingdom come. And of course, lastly, it invites us as well to keep us ourselves always from every evil, from every occasion of that sin, so that at the end of the day, our life would not be displeasing to the Lord. But quite of importance is another that the last part of the gospel that says, Again, reiterating what we have said already, that forgiveness is very crucial to make our prayer very effective. Only those who can forgive, that truly their prayers would be heard as well. After all, what is important is another that when Jesus came on earth, he gave himself in order to expiate our sins. He had ransomed us already from our evil deeds and sinfulness and leading us back as adopted sons and daughters of the Father. May this prayer be our prayer. May this prayer be truly our own and ultimately reap the fruits of this prayer. Amen. 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 And so our prayer, Lord, teach us to pray as well. Lord, 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 Lord teach, teach us, us, us to pray as well. Or in many ways. Or in many, many, many ways. ways. We do not know how to pray. We do not, not, do not know, know how, how to pray. pray. But with you praying with us. But, but with, with you praying with, with, with us. Praying for us. Praying, praying for us. us. We know what we can ask. We know, we know what, what we, we can, can ask. ask. And we believe that you will grant them. And we believe that we you will, believe grant, that you will grant, grant them. them. Lord, we would like to pray. Lord, Lord we would like, we would like, like to pray. pray. As you have prayed to the Father. As you have, as you have, have prayed, prayed to the, the Father. Father. Inspire us always. Inspire, Inspire us, us always. always. Touch our hearts. Touch, Touch our, our hearts. hearts. So that in our prayer. So that, that in, our, in prayer, our prayer. Truly we will recognize the Father. Truly, truly we will we recognize, recognize the Father. Father. As our Father, as our, as our, our Father, Father, and live in that intimacy of life with Him, and live with Him, live with him as, as, life with as you are one with the Father, as you are as one, you are one, one with, with the Father. Father. Lord, teach us to pray. 
Lord, 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 Lord just teach us, us to pray. pray. And when we pray to our Father, and that when we pray to our, our Father, Father, be with us. Be with, with us. us. So that the Father will grant everything. So that so the Father, that the Father, Father will, will grant everything. everything. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 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 now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael the Defender, pray, pray for, us. for us. Saint Raphael the Healer, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Gabriel, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Augustine, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Hannibal Maria di Francia. Pray, pray for us. Uh, send, O Lord. Your holy holy apostles, apostles, to your church. Church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, Father. Father, thank you very much. Welcome to uh, An another welcome lucky world. day for us. Yes, with your blessing. Lucky. Yes, uh -huh. again. He's back. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, thank he's you. back. <laughs> hey, I'm not around physically. I'm always present spiritually. <laughs> oh, that's right. Right. Thank you, Father. That's a very Welcome nice Father. assurance, Father. Oh, no, man. Thank always, you very much. always. <laughs> so take care and see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. God bless. God bless. Oh, bye. see you tomorrow. Now, Sigi Father, looking forward yes, again. Okay. We love you, Father. Love you, Father. Love you, Father. Love you, Father. Bye. 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 It's the summary of the whole gospel. The Lord's Prayer, the most beautiful, perfect prayer. We just truly reflect on it because it was uh, taught by Jesus to his disciples and to us. So it's perfect. It was not done by the saints or whoever. It was Jesus himself. So it's a very powerful prayer. That's why we need, whenever we pray that our Father, we should really uh, meditate and contemplate and word for word, not just mechanically. It's a prayer of faith, a prayer of surrender. We pray because we need something. We implore God. We must not pray to, to control God. <clears throat> As Father Danny have said, the first three petitions, it's about God the Father because he is the supreme being. And the second three petitions is about our needs, those things necessary in life. And it says also, lead us not into temptation. We ask for bread. Give us this day our daily bread. That is directed to the Father because he is the creator, sustainer of life. We ask for forgiveness of sins that is directed to the Son because he is our Savior and our Redeemer. And we ask for help from future temptation. It is directed to God, the Holy Spirit, because he is the comforter, the illuminator, strengthener, the guardian of our way. <clears throat> so in this prayer, we present to the triune God our past, present, and future. 
of man's life to God in all his fullness. It teaches us to bring the whole of our life to the whole of God and to bring God to the whole of our life. Now, let us try to uh, assess because we are prayer warriors. If we are really praying the right way, because there is a, such thing as praying the right way and the wrong way. Think, for instance, the praying of the rosary, because that's what we do every day. It is said that we should uh, truly, fully concentrate, meditate, in its detail. That's why we have these uh, reflections every decade. That's the purpose. But that it doesn't end there. The right way to pray the rosary is to contemplate, meditate on every Hail Mary. Take for instance, uh, now this, what we have is, uh, yeah. <clears throat> decade, and on Thursday, we have the luminous, luminous. luminous mystery. In the first decade, it's the baptism of Jesus. So we have med we have to meditate in every Hail Mary. What is happening? What is uh, transpiring in that uh, baptism of Jesus? There is that uh, character of uh, John, the Baptist, John the Baptist. Announcing the baptism of uh, repentance. And then we contemplate on that whole this scenario. When he, she, when he met Jesus, who was, uh, wants to be baptized by him. And they were arguing that, that he uh, that he's be the one to be baptized by Jesus and not him to baptize Jesus. But they have to obey the, uh, what is said in the, in the uh, scriptures it has to be uh, followed. So we meditate, but what happens is, <clears throat> well, even I am struggling on this. After the meditation and the, uh, whoever is say, saying that meditation, Lana, our mind is already wandering. I don't know where. If you are in the States, maybe your, your mind is here in the Philippines or in your <laughs> workplace. See? And who is the responsible? It's the devil, Satan who's trying to distract you. He's the one uh, distracting you uh, and uh, so you cannot concentrate. That's, it's very hard. I'm really struggling in this. So in front of me, I have that book about, uh, let's say, in the... Uh, Crucifixion of Jesus, the sorrowful. I have that book in what happens, what uh, the scenario, what's happening every decade. But still, Satan is very powerful, Distract, distracting you really. Sometimes you feel sleepy, keep yawning because of that. That is the work of the evil one. But we must fight against temptation. That's the right way to pray. It's not easy. 
sabi sa inyo, I'm struggling in this. And every, in every prayer, like for instance, you're praying alone before uh, going to sleep. You are very concentrated in that prayer. But the moment we pray the rosary, because there are many of us, our mind began to wander, traveling like a tourist. But I tell you, it's really hard to concentrate because uh, the devil is there trying to stop you from praying. Yeah. He doesn't want you to pray. Yeah. See, that's real. But you have to fight it. You have to uh, struggle. That is all. Amen. 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 Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Peter Mani. That you. is very, very nice. Um, um, uh, I, I can say something also. I can contribute something regarding this uh, uh, today's gospel, especially the Lord's Prayer, that uh, the, the, the most powerful um, um, prayer the most powerful prayer and it it, it it was taught to us by jesus so uh we have a guide here how to pray and he's teaching us a guide how to pray no uh the acronym of pray p r a y uh, p means praise you yeah. praise him you recognize his goodness Re we recognize that he is our lord and our god um and then r is for repentance when we pray, repent for our sins, have a sincere heart, cleanse your heart with, 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 all, with all your sins and asking for forgiveness. And A is ask, because Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Ask whatever your petitions, uh, your petitions um, uh, will be. Pray in faith, no? ask with patience, pray with patience. And then Y is for yield, you know. Uh, as Jesus said, your kingdom come, thy will be done. So it is not our decision. After Amen. everything, it's still our, God, um, uh, uh, our God's decision, whether it is for you what you're praying for, or he has a better choice for you because he knows better. And even before we pray, he already knows what is in our, in our hearts. So we always include that that Lord, all, please also listen to the prayers in our hearts. So yun ang, ano, uh, that, that's, that's our guide. Uh, right. The acronym for pray, P-R-A-Y. That's how we pray. And this is also taught by Jesus himself. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Tita. You're welcome. I shall remember that post it i will post it because that's our guide how to pray thank you i'd like to proceed with my reflection titans today uh, jesus really proposes us a great and difficult target to keep those to forgive those who offend us. And he established a reasonable <clears throat> measure. Ours, if you forgive others their wrong, your father in heaven will also forgive you. If you do not forgive others, then your father will not forgive you either. Matthew 6, verse 14 to 15. And meron pa isang portion. He also taught us the golden rule of, you, of human existence. You're very familiar with it. And everything do to others as you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law of the prophet. Matthew 7 verse 12. 
remember that. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. That's our English. Um, an English certain version. We want God to forgive us and would like others to forgive us too. But on the other hand, we seem quite <clears throat> reluctant to do it ourselves. To apologize is already kind of a difficulty. But to forgive, it is even more so. Should we be more hum humbler? And it should be not be so difficult. But again, our pride makes it much harder. And this, what, this is why, as an engineer, I would like to establish to you the following equation. The humbler divided by the easier multiplied by the prouder equals the more difficult. Do you remember that equation? The humbler, the easier, and the prouder equals more difficult. This will give us a clue to find out our degree of humility. Talking about humility and this portion of, of, of the Lord's Prayer. I recall a priest in the city where I came from and in a poor place. It is where the shipyard or the Ideco, which we call in our place Lapus. And there is a parish called Our Lady of Fatima. And there we have a very good priest whom we always hung out in his convent. He was very nice. He always talked to the workers and talked to them about their rights. So normally the labor leaders and the private armies of the labor leaders really hated it. And one day in his mass, While in, in the midst of this month, Hi, good morning. Towards, the, part on the corner on towards the consecration, he was shot right there in the mass. So the people, Tita MJ, you're familiar with this, with these people there in Lapus. So I at know that them. moment, <laughs> and the people bring them, in, bring that father, that priest, to the hospital. And for several days, thank God he survived. But we know, we all talk about it, that that, that private army is not done yet with him. So the good Archbishop told him to go, to go not in hiding, but to go somewhere and carry on with this priestly vocation. So we, he held, he held the mass in front of a selected few. I was lucky to be with them. So this officiating priest after saying the words of the Lord's Prayer, and forgive us our debtors, or forgive us those who sin against us. Suddenly, the good priest remains speechless. You know very much how he felt. He was shot, he was suffering. And he was unable to go on. It took him a while. He could not drive himself to forgive those 
who made him suffer so much. In the middle of the celebration of the mass, after a moment of silence in that mass, he went on with a prayer. As we forgive our debtors, afterwards, we ask among ourselves, which in part of his homily had been the best one? Yes, we all agreed. The silence after the word, our debtors. Afterwards again, we ask ourselves, which homily had been the best one? And finally we said, the silence mm -hmm. of father when he was saying the Lord's prayers. It is a difficult, but with the Lord's help, it was, it is possible. Furthermore, God's forgiveness is total. It gets us as far as an oblivion. We tend to forget pretty soon the favors we receive, but not so much with the offenses, right? If somebody gives you a gift, oh, maybe after a month you forget that somebody gives you a gift. But if somebody slap you, oh, you'll never forget. 30 years, 40 years. But so much with those offenses. Titas, Titas. No, not with Tito Mani. If for married couples knew how to forget them, they avoid and probably overcome the many family dramas. As I always told you, in the middle of our family dramas, I would end it with, yes, dear. I've told you several times, right, Tita Pippin? Yes, dear. So again, let us hope that the Mother of Mercy, our Blessed Mother, help us and in understanding our fellow men and forgive them, forgiving them totally. I would not say yet, amen, as I would like to share with you what is going on right now in Italy. That's true. Jesus teaches the disciples how to pray and what has all become, become known as the Lord's Prayer. Pope Francis has approved a change in the wordings of the Lord's Prayer after what's described as a flawed translation. It was a translation from the original Greek wording so it comes two years ago after the pope francis expressed a dislike of that praise lead us not into temptation and the pope said that this version of the prayer uh, from greek to english or to italian it implies that it is god not satan who leads people into temptation The Pope has now approved a change in the Italian version of the prayer to be updated. But it is not known yet when the English version of the prayer will be changed. There would have to be an agreement among the English speaking world like the Philippines. 
before such a change could take place. It would seem there are no implication in the translate in the Irish translation, as in my talk with another regressionist priest in Ireland of the Lord's Prayer. So the relevant petition in Ireland is Agus Nalig Sin Ekatu translates roughly into English as and let us not succumb to temptation. He did not say anything that it was God who brought us to temptation, but it says, and let us not succumb to temptation, which corresponds to the Pope favored praiseology. And with that, a short teaching, and I would say, amen. 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 Thank you, Tito Elmer. Um, can we proceed to the three pointers, please? Tita Linda. Yeah. Please go ahead. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, if God knows what we need before we ask him, why then the need to pray for the needs that we have? Number two, Prayer doesn't move God to change his mind, but instead expresses our utter dependence on his providence and to acknowledge him as our Lord and creator. Number three, effective prayer is listening to God. Our Father in heaven, creator, Lord and master, Give us the heart and mind to be always attentive to you. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Um, so anything else before the closing prayer of um, Tita Annabel? Anything else? Okay, let's uh, proceed to the Closing prayer, Tita Ann. Okay. A simple prayer. Lord, thank you for waking me up another day. Help me to get through this day. There are many possible paths to travel between my getting up in the morning and lying down at night. Help me to stay alert and to be continuously aware of your presence. I could choose the path of grumbling and moaning or I could choose to walk with you along the path of peace. There will be difficulties along the way, but I can confidently face them in your strength. Thank you for each problem because I eagerly want to watch you transform trials into blessings. So Lord, I choose to walk with you today and every day. Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. very much. So that ends our prayer session for today. Thank you very much. May God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.